All right, it is another crisp morning. There's some frost on the windshield. It's currently 19 degrees and clear. Uh, it's 5.13 a.m. again, so uh, look at that. Nice coincidence from part one. So this is part two of exploring the old colony line stations. Uh, and to clarify from the previous part, uh, these are for stations that are no longer along active commuter rail lines. So this in, this will be uh, there will be uh, some other projects I do where I go to stations that are located along currently active lines, and I'll see if I can catch trains going through them. But these are not active stations. Um, maybe some freight or a seasonal train will use them, like in like in uh, on the Cape. But um, these ones should be mainly uh, freight areas or just completely decommissioned uh, like we saw with bike trails or just completely non-existent traces other than maybe a street name. So we're going to start in Taunton today and we're going to work our way over um, into Rhode Island and then uh, back up into East Central Mass and then we're going to finish off in Dedham. Should only take about 8 hours today compared to the 12 hours on the other part so I should be done with uh, daylight left. So. That'll be good, and we'll see how it goes. All right, first stop of the day, Taunton. Here are the tracks right here. Found a gap in the fence. With actually a walking path. This is where the station used to be, and in fact, the, the old platform is still there. Railroad crossing right there on Oak Street, I believe that is. Looking way down, I can see some lights. I almost thought it was a train for a second, but I'm pretty sure that is. Yep, it is not. Yep, the station even has the old yellow line still on it. That's nice. So this used to be a MBTA commuter rail stop. Quite nice. Yeah, this is the first one I found. Uh, besides the ones in, on the Cape that actually still have the uh, yellow line. So this is 100% uh, the original platform. Pretty cool. Alright, here we are in Dighton. And this is where a commuter rail station used to be located, right here. You can almost kind of see the, um, I'm pretty sure this might be new concrete, but you can tell that there might have been a, a station platform here in the past. Uh, and this whole area has been cleared out uh, definitely over many years of different uh, usages, clearly. But the lot is still vacant, as you can see, so... Um, that's probably the only evidence of a station ever being here, but nonetheless, uh, there was one here. Alright, so uh, we're in Somerset, or Somerset, however you say it. There used to be a station at the bottom of this hill where there is now the corner of uh, Old Colony Avenue and Pilot Drive. Now this is a residential area completely now, so all signs of any existing railroad have been wiped clean and I will not be doing any exploring or um, filming um, around the area because it's residential, so just out of courtesy of everyone around here, I will leave it at that. Alright, here's Fall River. A lot of this has gated off, so I'm not going to be able to get in there and explore a lot, but here's the train track, still used by freight um, regularly, I believe. Um, the platform used to be right here. And it's possible that those, uh, those little pillars there used to hold up the concrete for the platform when it did exist for a passenger rail. Or that's new stuff being built for something else. Again, I'm not a construction expert, so I have no idea. But this is where it was located, so if that's what that was for, then that makes sense. So I have some old, old rail strewn along the side. There we go. It's better. 
not perfect, but might be able to get a better view here. The pillars there, what I believe may have been the platform. Nice little uh, split junction over there. Alright, here we are in uh, beautiful Newport, Rhode Island. This is the uh, Newport Transportation Center. Uh, this place is actively uh, bussed here. As you can see, there's one uh, coming through now. It's got a nice little uh, hub. Get a better view of that. And over here is where the railroad station is when it used to be serviced by the commuter rail. tracks themselves now end here at the station. But they do continue all the way down from where they used to originate. Here's the station itself. It says Newport Ice Cream Train. So apparently, the train still does, there is a train that still runs here, but it's not the MBTA, of course. But they do have something called the ice cream train, I guess. I did not know this, actually. Newport and Narragansett Bay Railroad Company. You can have rail bike rides. It's a cute little station. Super tiny in there, there's a lawnmower, it's basically a shed now, but has all the uh, inner functions of what a train station would be. It's got the counter and a person to sit there and collect tickets. Looks like kind of like a maybe a mini gift shop at one point, but yeah, pretty nice. All right, here we are in another beautiful Rhode Island town. This is Bristol. Uh, here we are at Independence Park along the water. Gorgeous views. Very peaceful. This must be a very uh, popular spot in the summer. And I don't see any sign of ever having been a station here, but this is the location where a commuter rail station was when Bristol was served. Uh, the only plaque remaining here is uh, about the War of Independence. Very pretty, but no signs of any railroad. It's been completely uh, erased and built over. All right, here we are in Warren, Rhode Island. This is the East Bay Bike Path, which uh, took the place of the railroad tracks as they used to be. And the only evidence really remaining is the fact that the bike path looks like it would be where a train track would be located and the fact that this road right here is Railroad Avenue. Here we are at Blackstone. Uh, this is uh, where the Rhode Island, Blackstone, Rhode Island station was. Uh, you can see the tracks right through there. I'm gonna try to get a better angle of these uh, from another, another vantage point, but uh, this was, this is technically on the Massachusetts side of the border, uh, but was still considered to be Blackstone, Rhode Island. Quite pretty. It's a, now it's a park and, a, and a, there's a pathway next to the train tracks. And uh, fun fact, this used to be uh, part of the Franklin line. It is currently still running, of course. 
and uh, after Forge Park 495, the train would uh, dip south into Blackstone, Rhode Island, and this would have been a station still. So, looks like the gate's open here. I might be able to actually get in here. Okay, so this is where the station used to be, right here. Some old rails. You can tell that this track is still definitely used on a regular basis. Uh, by freight for sure. Let's see if we can find any more evidence of the station. All I see is uh, railroad ties and some uh, tracks, so probably not going to see any. Might not even been a platform here. However, I do see concrete slab over here. Yeah, here's some wood. It's a railroad tie, but some old rail. This little concrete right here could have been for a light post or maybe a sign. It's definitely old. And over here is a, the bridge and going underneath this canal street. And the old staircase leading up to the platform is still there. And there used to be uh, two tracks from the looks of it. There's another one right here. Completely abandoned but left on the bridge and discontinued in either direction. Ooh, that is spooky. It's certainly intimidating to stand on this. There's some uh, just gaps that go straight down below. Here's the railing. And right down through there is the staircase. All right, here we are in North Attleboro. Through those trees over there it used to be where the train tracks were. And somewhere off to my left is where the station was, off Peterson Street now. So this is another case where the tracks were completely wiped away and so was uh, any sign of a station and replaced by mostly residential property. However, there are some old factory buildings still there that I believe may have served as uh, freight houses. But anyway, that's, uh, that's North Attleboro, nothing exciting. Uh, the actual Attleboro station that's still um, in play today is much more exciting. All right, here we are now in Rentham. Lots of uh, terrain modification has gone into construction projects and whatnot, most likely for the building of that uh, power station there. There's also a garage here, uh, but there used to be a station located right about here where that power station is. Uh, no sign of any tracks, but uh, there is this tree line that goes down along the side here where the uh, power lines are, which could have easily been the track. Or it could have been also here, and that could have been the station building. But it seems like a lot of modifications have occurred, so uh, no signs of any former rail or station. But this is where the Rentham commuter station used to be located. Alright, so I'm at the Walpole Industrial Park. <laughs> Changing into boots because I have uh, a trek to make to get to this next station. Or a former station, rather. Uh, it's called Cedar Junction. And I'll show you on the map here in a sec. So I have to get from where I am to there in the woods. So I have to walk through the power lines here to first get to the tracks where are my boots because there's some uh, lots of mud dirt and looks like there could be some snow or ice I might have to walk through
some uh, some dirt mounds from construction and mining. I can just see the tracks ahead. I see deer tracks in the snow. Deep into the wilderness now. Not really. It's maybe like a quarter to half a mile, something like that, at most. Probably a quarter mile. All right. So there's the track, right there. It's cool to see the snow line from where there's canopy coverage versus not. get up there. I think there's a fence. Let's see if there's not one this way. That'd be helpful. <laughs> Looks good. Other footprints here. I think they're both of human and Looks like of a fairly large deer. Oh yeah. Look at those hooves. All right, there's the track. Let's get on up to it. There it is. All right, so the, the station itself is located just a little ways up here. So I'm there. I gotta get up to there. That's maybe a tenth of a mile. Definitely still used by freight. These rails are not overgrown in any way. You can see how it looks for there being a station up there. And if there's any sign of it left or any way of knowing how they even got to it with passengers. It might have just been a station for uh, workers because this is an industrial park, so it could have just been for employees of whatever a uh, freight or construction company was there at the time. Almost on top of it. So, that is where the station is located. So it seems like my theory may have been correct. So, we have uh, logging over here. Lots of construction equipment. Of course, this could have changed over time. So it could have been something different, but the point is there's no roads here. Uh, there's space on either side for a platform or for at least uh, for people to get on the train. And there's also this little marker here, seven. Usually those are there to indicate uh, for the number of cars to stop at. You see those a lot at uh, usual passenger stations, so. Safe to say this is probably the location. There's a little little space right here on the side as well. So uh, this would be uh, Cedar Junction. And uh, yeah, nice, uh, nice journey to here. Definitely still gets used by freight, but uh, definitely not gonna load any logs here with this fence in the way, so. Yeah, that's about it, I'd say. I'm gonna try to see if I can get out through a path I saw over here instead of walking all the way back down the tracks into the power lines. Yeah, but I'd say overall, it makes sense that this would be Cedar Junction, and 
it could be implied that this used to also be for uh, logging workers uh, to get on and off the train to go to work or to even log logs themselves because uh, cedar is a type of plant type of tree so maybe that's why they called it that but not too certain on that one so I'm just gonna say that that was a successful discovery especially considering the uh, seven sign up here and the room for a potential platform and construction site and just leave it at that all right here we are at Medfield while uh, Cedar Junction was south of the Walpole MBTA station between there and Mansfield this is to the north of the Walpole station and uh, the station used to be located right here where this building is uh, probably definitely not the same original building as uh, what the station building may have been if there even was one but you can see the original sign for Medfield there it's been a long time since that's been uh, maintained so only field is left the med fell off but yep that's confirmed that confirming that this is where the station was and parking was here and now it's just used by freight all right so here we are in Marlboro this was a station uh, at one point um, between Framingham and the uh, Fitchburg line so uh, just like Medfield was a connector well, I forgot to mention Medfield was a connector between uh, Walpole and Framingham so that connected the Franklin line to the Framingham line and now uh, we are going further north than that um, so we are between the Framingham line and Fitchburg line there are no traces of the station uh, today everything has been completely wiped out no tracks no buildings no nothing so uh, this is where it used to be relatively where that brick building is all right here we are in Northboro, Westboro and Southboro are stations, but this used to also be one, but this is off the main line. There's still a railroad crossing here. I'm not sure if it's still active, but I'm sure the freight uses it. So unlike, uh, unlike the last station we went to, Marlboro, there's actually still track here. So that must have been a different branch that got scrapped completely. But you can see from looking down here that this is uh, not a heavily used line pretty uh pretty scraggly a lot of the wood is uh damaged and not really even kept up with so uh this is where the station used to be right here on the side uh no indicators for it other than just the open space so they've definitely uh, uh made it look prettier with uh, some lawn and dirt and grass so yep that's uh this is north that's Northboro. All right, now continuing north even further, we have the Berlin train station. See, there used to be a space for a lot here. And there's a nice uh, old railroad crossing, no gates, just the dingers. And curves uh, both ways. Uh, no sign of the station itself. There's no uh, uh, marker for it, but we have some old rails and some ties. And that's about it. But freight definitely still uses this. Uh, it looks like it's, you know, it's worse for the wear, just like the last place. But it's still uh, still usable, probably by some uh, slow haulers. All right, so this is Clinton. This one might be a little tricky. The station is up there. I believe this building may have served as the uh, kind of the terminal a little bit. There's a staircase over here. It may have been what led up to the station in the past. It's fenced off up there, but I might be able to just get up there and get a good look at it. railing left so hopefully I don't slip and fall yeah I'm afraid of heights so this is not fun all right so here we go all right here's where the uh, the two tracks are come together to be one right here and right there 
is where the station was. You can see the building right there. Platform used to be here to pick up passengers. And it has since been turned into a small shop center. Uh, seems like there's consignment shops down there and boutique. And yep, that's about it. There's also, um, can't see it from here, but there's another track that um, crosses it. I think it's I think it's in that direction. So this is kind of a junction spot. It might even be underneath that bridge over there, because there is a railroad crossing. So there's quite a few different ways the tracks go from here. But this is still, um, I believe this is still between the Fitchburg line. I'll have to double check on that. But yep. So looking at the map, it is uh, still between the. Uh, Framingham line and the Fitchburg line. So, I'm going to make my way down and head over to the next station and hopefully I don't die. Alright, so here's an alternate view of the station. Here's the station building. Uh, this is the bridge for the line that we've been following. Uh, this line under here is the one that actually ends up going towards the Fitchburg line itself. So while this has been taking us towards the Fitchburg line, uh, in the general direction, it now curves and starts to go towards the west, and this is the actual line that will be going uh, towards air, where it comes into the uh, merging junction. So, for the other stations where I said it, uh, the Framingham and Fitchburg line connects, it that doesn't actually connect directly, but we were heading towards it, so I uh, misread the map there. But either way, uh, Sterling Junction is going to be next. Now here we are, deep in the woods, Sterling Junction. Nice uh, straightaway down there, all the way down there as well. This is what the uh, station used to be, right here. It's now a loading dock. This probably serves some kind of purpose on the freight line, but it used to be a passenger station for the commuter rail. All this straight track, but very old, so speeds are probably pretty slow. There's a railroad crossing down there, looks like. Yep. And I made a mistake on the map again. That thing is, uh, those tracks are all curving like crazy, so this is actually uh, south of Clinton. And next is going to be Pratt's Junction, and that is the that's going to be the station that went uh, west from Clinton. Okay, so just to clear up any confusion on my terrible map reading skills, what had been happening was uh, we were following this train line through Clinton here, which then continued to go west. South, this section right here, goes south towards Sterling Junction, and this north part goes up to Ayer. And then this part over here continues to go west towards Pratt's Junction, which is where we are now, and then ends up in Lemster and eventually Fitchburg. So both lines do connect to the Fitchburg tr uh, line eventually. It's just a matter of uh, which part. All right, so here's Pratt's Junction, located on Pratt's Junction Road. You would think the station might be located over here which maybe it was, however, the location itself was directly uh, pinpointed to this side of the crossing, so it's possible that that building was just added later on, even though it does look like a station building. Um, and then maybe this one was just taken down at a later date, or there was never a station uh, building to begin with, and there was just a platform for people to get on. All right, continuing towards the Fitchburg line, we are now at Lemster. Uh, there's a station in North Lemster, not on this line though, this is a separate track. Uh, still on the way to that line, I believe it connects up somewhere in Fitchburg. Uh, here's the railroad crossing, the old dingers, no gates, and the station used to be located right here in front of me, on the other side of the tracks right there. Uh, that building may have served some purpose for the train, uh, potentially as a, uh, maybe a terminal or a platform perhaps. But uh, more likely so, there was probably um, a platform closer, or uh, it was uh, this little branch track right here that uh, allowed freight to go by, but the passenger train would stay on this side track right here. You kind of see it in the trees. 
and it comes across the road and right here so yep that's Lemster all right here is the old station of Gardner this is at the end of the Fitchburg line uh, this is where a uh, commuter stop used to be and they might actually think about bringing it back. I believe the platform was either part of this or uh, more likely was part of this um, concrete slab right here. Freight actively used this line. This is uh, north of Wachusett. The newest station on the Fitchburg line. And this uh, section right here serves as a freight yard.
Alright, final stop of the day. This is Dedham, the Keystone lot. This is probably the largest modification of where a train station used to be. This used to be a commuter stop. And it's basically been like raised, paved, you name it. Everything's been modified. You would never think a train station would have ever been here. Alright, and that concludes part two of exploring old colony lines. Um, next time I'm going to be uh, hitting up a few spots on the Lowell line, including uh, branching north from Lowell and also branching north from Newburyport. So I'll be hitting up a few of those and then uh, after that part, part three, I'll have another plan and I'll explain it at the end of that one.